In this video, you'll be learning about the eight best induction ranges to consider. Of course, like every other appliance, there is not one best induction range for everyone. I could say meal is the best, for example, but not if you want a double oven, a different finish and stainless, or if you don't want to spend over $9,000. Stay to the end. I'll show you the most reliable induction range brand and another huge problem buying any induction range or cooktop. Chances are you're experiencing that right now. Let's get started. Mule is the best all around range from the cooktop to the oven with two key problems. The stove is one of the most powerful with three burners over 3000 watts, with two at 3850, one at 3100 and a smaller burner at 2300 watts. However, you buy this for the oven, it's twin convection for more precise control. However, the MasterChef guided cooking system is one of the best oven controls you can buy in any cooking product. You simply pick the type of food, the weight, and how you like it cooked and the oven calculates time and temperature automatically. It gives you 15 different cooking modes covering any type of food. You can also choose 100 different pre-programmed recipes. You can also build your own. Meal is also the only oven with steam assist. Steam is great for caramelizing foods. Add some steam to your roast for more flavor. Steam is also a necessary ingredient for baking bread. There are just 15 different automatic settings just for bread. Want to cook California sourdough? Just hit that button. That's the beauty of Meal. They simplify everything. However, you need to run a water line to your stove for steam functionality. You probably don't have one there now. Almost every brand has smart functionality, but Meal is the best for connection, at least in our showroom. Smart will allow you to control the oven through your smartphone or tablet, but you can leave the racks in the self-cleaning cycle that are designed to withstand the 900 degree heat. The wireless probe is a great idea, allowing you to place the probe in the thickest part of the meat for better temperature control. First, the range is over $9,000, which is twice as expensive as the next most expensive range. And you don't have a bridge element on the top for fully utilizing griddles or larger oblong shaped pans. LG is best navigated the pandemic and all the product shortages after that, except on induction. We'll talk about availability later in the video. LG has a 4300, a 3200, two 1800, and a 100 watt burner. 4300 is the highest wattage in the industry, so it will cook quickly. The oven is amongst the largest at 6.3 cubic feet. I could mention other modes like air fry, but we haven't been able to fry anything in any of these modes from any manufacturer. They also have air sous vide, which is a feature, but it's in a two hour cycle, then you have to finish it for texture. The other reason to buy LG is, is for reliability. They were the most reliable brand sold at Yale last year at about 4.4% service rate. However, their induction reliability was about average. They should improve this year. This unit doesn't have a bridge element either. The wattages after the two power burners are a little bit below average. Cafe Appliances Double Oven has the largest capacity at seven cubic foot split between two ovens. The largest burner is 3,600 watts and is expandable from six to nine to 12 inches. Cafe does have the bridge element on the left-hand side as well. Beside the advantages of a double oven, Cafe is a smart range like LG, and they're always adding modes as well. A couple years ago, thousands of existing G and Cafe customers found a new turkey mode button on their ranges before Thanksgiving with a gobble gobble end of cycle signal as well. You have the ability to customize with several different finishes like black, white, and stainless. And you also can choose a number of different handle styles to completely customize this range. The drawback to G's double oven is the main oven sits on the floor and only has one higher output burner at 3,600 watt. They drop to 2,000 watt after that. Bosch is the sleekest with their industrial look and clean and European lines. You can package Bosch well with other appliances for a good look in your kitchen. Bosch is by far the most reliable induction range at 5.4%, far below the average of 10% for induction as a category. We'll get into reliability later in the video. Bosch also has excellent output at a 3700 watt burner, two at 3600 and at 2200 watt as well. You have the bridge element on the left hand side for oblong dishes and you have a warming draw and it's a great convenience and keep your food warm for up to three hours. It's especially convenient if you cook and your family eats at different times. The oven size is only 4.6 cubic feet. LG and Samsung are 6.3 with the average being about 5.4 cubic feet. We recommend taking a look in person at your local showroom. Here's another important tip. They don't make their own pro style ranges. It's made 
to a different standard by SMEG, an Italian manufacturer. We don't sell Samsung anymore, so I can't attest to their reliability. Got to be careful with Samsung service. They are now the most popular brand in the United States, but lack an effective service department. Buy it from that unlikely dealer who services what they sell, or be prepared to wait a long time for repair. Not to pick on Samsung, but the same goes for most brands. You're probably on your own, even with that extended warranty. Oven is decent at 6.3 cubic feet. This model doesn't have convection, but you can buy their better models for 500 to 1,000 more with convection. The overall output in this range is the lowest in the category, with the highest burner being only 2,400 watts. Beko, like LG, was a reliable supplier throughout the pandemic. Their range is pro style, so it looks like a professional range. The burners are decent with two at 3,700 and 2,200 watts, but with no bridge burner. Like Mila, you have twin convection with a bit more functionality because the fans reverse as well to keep a more even temperature. Oven size a bit better than average at 5.7 cubic. After two years of selling products without much competition, Beko is now super aggressive with package rebates. They had a higher rate of repair, but mostly on non-functional fit and finished parts. If you like the cafe, but want a single oven, this G profile may be a good consideration. Profile is popular because they were one of the first brands to offer induction. I sold the G induction cooktops back in 1986. You have a bit different output than the cafe at 13700 watt, 22500 watt, an 800 watt burner and the 100 degree warmer as well with the same smart HQ Wi-Fi functionality. The convection oven is average at 5.3 cubic foot, whereas that LG and Samsung are large at 6.3. The oven size and output are just average. You have plenty of 36 inch options from Wolf, Bosch, which is made by the Smeg, Fisher Paykel, Viking, Fulger, Milano, and Cornier Fay, among others. In a word, Fisher Paykel is powerful. Four 3700 watt burners on the side, which can be bridged. The center burner is 2600. Fisher Bay Kettle is a mode for any way you want to cook. Their aero mode uses both the top and bottom elements to cook faster and more evenly. You have nine total modes with Fisher and Peco. The warmer is 36 inches wide. By the way, separate warming drawers cost over $1,200 on average. You can also choose red, white, black, or stainless steel for a different look. However, the oven size is small, just 4.9 cubic feet for 36 inches and wicked small, as we say in these parts, and the 30 inch size at just 3.5 cubic feet. Nobody talks about reliability. I must have read every article about induction ranges to prepare for this video. It's all features and sending you to a link to buy it for their commission. So with induction, you have to be careful. It's a difficult repair. The following service rates are based on over 34,000 service calls completed. Induction is about the same as appliances in general at about 9.5, at, at just over 9.5% with Bosch being the most reliable. Many of these repairs are minor. However, within five years, you will need some service on your new induction range. First, find out what's available. You'll have problems finding induction ranges and cooktops. Then consider reliability. You aren't buying a reliable top load washer or dishwasher. Induction ranges need repair. After that, look for your desired features, whether it's a powerful top or more robust oven. What do you think? Leave what range you prefer in the comments below. To learn more about the most reliable induction ranges, click here.